Hi, I'm Joe Ganser, welding instructor at Florida Gateway College. If you're interested in career welding, this is a great place to start. Why don't you come take a tour with me and see what we have for you here at the college. Hi, this is uh, Cephas Lee. He's going to be doing our cutting today, and this is Dustin Rain. He's going to be doing the fire watch for Cephas. One of the first things you learn to do at Florida Gateway College is you learn how to cut steel. Cephas is marking out metal, getting it ready to cut. He's going to mark it out into the prescribed or the designated lengths for a particular welding project. He happens to be cutting metal out right now for the AWS D11 structural weld code test. Then he's going to be lighting the torch and making a cut. After he's got the metal marked out, he's going to be lighting his torch. One of the things that we're looking for when you light the torch is to have a neutral flame. That's a, properly, that's a flame of properly mixed fuel and oxygen. So it's not overburning the metal or melting the edge of the metal. And then Dustin Rain will be coming in and he'll be fire watching as Cephas makes his first cut. You want to make sure that you're preheating the metal before you get started. And you want to progress across the metal as smooth as possible while maintaining an even and constant arc gap with the torch stick. And ideally we want to try not to stop. The fire watch is supposed to be scanning the area where the sparks are going to make sure that nothing's catching on fire, including the shoe tops of both himself and the person who's cutting. And at the completion of the cup, the fire watch will put the metal off to the side and get the plate ready for the next cut. This is Cody Stucker. He's going to be demonstrating for us today how to bevel plate with a track torch. He's going to set up a neutral flame. Then he's going to get his torch preheated on the edge of the plate. And he's going to engage the transmission and start his cut. Now he's going to have to make some adjustments as he's cutting, like right now he needs to make a speed adjustment. He's going too slow, a little bit faster, a little bit faster. There you go. And what we're looking for is for this particular test plate for AWS D11 structural weld code test is a bevel angle of approximately 22 and a half degrees. We're using a track torch because it provides a nice, smooth, gouge-free edge. It makes cleaning of the bevel a little bit easier and a little bit more precise than doing it with a hand torch. Once the torch is all the way through the metal, he will move, remove the cut draw stand with his pliers to reveal a nice smooth beveled edge. Now that plate is ready to be clean. This is Kendall Hurd. He's going to demonstrate to us how to clean the beveled plate that we have as well as the backing strip so that we can go ahead and get our pieces fit together after that. What Kendall's going to do is he's going to clean any of the dross and mill scale from the plate. Dross and mill scale cause the porosity and other weld defects or discontinuities in the weld, so those have to be removed before that we can weld this metal together. So you're gonna go ahead and do that now. The idea is to make sure that we're removing all the mill scale from around the beveled edge, anywhere where the weld may contact. This is Joseph Todd. He's going to be demonstrating to us how to make a weld with the plates that we've cut, beveled, and cleaned. Now he's going to be welding up our AWS D11 plate. One of the first things you have to do before you weld is you have to be able to adjust your welding machine. 
For this weld, you need to have between 115 and 120 amps, which he's adjusting his machine for now. And then he has to make sure his machine is on. Now he's ready to weld. Some of what he's trying to control is arc length, rod angle, which is both direction of travel as well as side to side angle. And he's also trying to control his travel speed while making this weld. We're looking for uniform uh, ripples on the weld bead face as well as making sure that it's penetrated and tied in on both sides of the weld bead throughout the length of the weld. This weld will take two to three rods to complete each pass. After he completes the weld, he'll have to chip off the missing the slag and brush it. This is Megan Seller. She's completed her AWS structural weld code test and she's got her plate cleaned and we have coupons cut from that plate that we're going to test with our bend tester to make sure that it meets qualification standards. All right, now in order to pass a bend test, both test coupons have to bend. So we're gonna put them in this bending jig and we're gonna bend them and we're gonna visually inspect them to see if there are any discontinuity. Turn the machine on, I put my coupon in the bender. And then I'm gonna engage the ram to go ahead and make the bend. First, the purpose of bending with coupon is to open the weld up, to actually place stress on the weld that forces the coupon to bend 180 degrees. And what, we're, what this test is for joint fusion and penetration. It also will expose any potential discontinuities that may be entrapped within the weldment. In order to pass, this weld should not break, and we should not see any discontinuities larger than an eighth of an inch in any measured direction. And it'll get ejected out here fairly forcefully. And that's what we're looking for. U-shaped bend, no breaks, nice clean weld. This weld pass. That's all we have for you today. If you're interested in joining welding like these guys, you can contact either myself, Joe Ganser, or Carl Romano, or you can visit the college website at fgc.edu.